so now it's springtime the sun is going no is coming towards us and the snow and the cold weather we're pushing that away and now it's place for summer not yet we're we're preparing for its arrival but in the meantime i have eight suggestions for you to smell amazing not just basic amazing during the spring so i will show you the a fragrances that i recommend and we're gonna have just a detailed overlook just quickly for each fragrance and they're not ranked so from eight to one one to eight doesn't matter each of these picks are amazing so now let's start so at number one we're gonna get rid of a simple one it's gonna be yves saint laurent y eau de parfum so this is a very popular fragrance i've made a uh, review on it that you can check on my channel but this is a very fresh fruity aromatic scent like a fresh off fresh out the shower gel scent it's very good very fruity but yet it still remains very masculine so this has ginger and apple up front with some citrus of course and then you have sage geranium in the middle then in the base you're gonna have some woodiness some ambery so it's gonna be a little bit sweet also in the base and also off the top because of that apple so overall very fresh very fruity very just clean scent overall and this will get you a lot of compliments moving on to number two it's gonna be terre d'hermes by hermes so this is a classic scent it is not for every everyone okay this is more for the mature men this is more for the classy men and it also can be a little bit challenging to the nose because this has a very bitter orange a dirty orange because this is citrusy but earthy at the same time and some people like this and some people don't like this but overall it's a citrus smell and it has some earthiness and woodiness beneath it but the woodiness beneath it, it and the earthiness just makes it more mature so some people may not like that like young people like teenager may not really like this and would rather go with something like uh, Yves Saint Laurent white or the parfum but this is still very good so for the next two fragrances they're gonna smell a little bit similar to Terre d'Hermes not very similar but the same scent profile so number three is gonna be Dior Homme so this is the new formulation 2020 the eau de toilette and this is very classy and elegant it's just a citrus with musk and a lot of woodiness so you're gonna get a lot of citrus but at the same time it's gonna be very woody and i think those two combined together are very good so in the spring since it's not too hot but not too cold you can play with citrus which is used a lot in summer and woodiness which is used during the colder months so if you mix these two together then you have a perfect spring fragrance and this is the perfect balance in that you have like 50 percent citrus and 50 percent um woodiness you also have other notes like musk and the musk really comes through in this fragrance and in the air it smells really good i had a friend who wore this and the musk that comes off of his skin is fantastic so this is a very solid pick now number four a very similar again fragrance is mancera intense cedra boise so this also has a lot of citrus and woodiness but this has a unique twist unique unique twist this has leather in it and also a black currant note so black currant is a fruit but it doesn't smell really fruity and sweet like an apple from the yadp no this black currant is much more like dark and sour it's not too 
fruity. We're gonna just spray it so I can confirm this with you. Yeah, so that the, went into my eyes. Yeah, so the blackcurrant isn't really sweet. It, it It's not sweet at all to my nose. It smells like a fruit, but it doesn't smell sweet. But the citrus is very good and the woodiness and the leather actually it it may be challenging to the nose because when i first sprayed this i didn't really like it because the blend was a little bit weird and i've heard that this smells similar to uh creed aventus but to my nose it doesn't even come close maybe there is some similarities here and there like the citrus uh the ambergris the leather, which is also present in Creed Aventus, but not really noticeable. But this, the leather, is very noticeable. So some people may like it. Some people, people, some people may not like it, but it can be a good option to look into it. So check this one out. And also, the performance on this is very good, which is the case for almost any Mancera fragrance. So now back to the basic designer fragrances not too challenging and always mass appealing you have valentino omo born in roma eau de toilette so this is a very fresh and salty scent it smells a little bit sweet and a little bit like bubble gum this is just fresh salty and a little bit sweet and also mineral because it has mineral notes and violet in this one so the blend is very simple yet mass appealing and likable so valentino born in roma or the toilette the uomo version so as you may have noticed all these picks are fresh fragrances and spring you want to smell fresh you don't want to smell like overly sweet or those caramel notes or cinnamon that's done that's winter and winter is bye bye it's gone spring you have to balance it up with citrus woodiness freshness and a little bit fruitiness you know you have to play around those notes and this one is a very good example so prada luna rosa carbon I've did this uh I've did a review on this guy so if you want to check it out go check my page but guys this is truly an amazing fragrance it smells similar to Dior Sauvage but I think this is okay I want to get on the debate of if this is better than Dior Sauvage but guys this smells amazing so how does it smell it smells fresh light fresh spicy and aromatic so the aroma comes from the lavender and the lavender in this is so good mixed with the bergamot and the fresh pepperiness that comes from this all mixed in together the top note actually i'm gonna spray it one more time because off the top it's magical you know when you smell something and it makes you hyped up this is the perfect example i can give this because the initial spray is very energizing and uplifting it really can bring you from a depressed mood to wow i'm happy now so yeah this is a very i would say a happy fragrance it, the, 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 this, the stuttering is real the fragrance the first spray is magical and when it dries down then it goes from a fresh spiciness to a more dirty metallic uh, way because this has metallic notes coal and soil so a little bit challenging when you see it on paper but when you smell it Prada did a great job now number seven we have Hermes H24 RV so RV is in new release 2024 and it smells really amazing just like its name says Herbe means uh, living herbs 
or like vivid herbs. So yeah, it smells herbal, mossy, but yet fruity, fresh, and sweet. So this is a flanker of the H24 line. You have the H24 Eau de Toilette, you have the Eau de Parfum, which is, I think, my favorite from the line. And this is the second favorite. The Eau de Parfum smells more mossy, more herbal, less versatile, but this is more versatile because it takes the Eau de Parfum but adds some freshness. I think the molecule that they put in is Fiscool, which is, it's gonna bring a lot more freshness into this fragrance. And they also added pear. So it's a fruit and it smells really amazing. It smells sweet and sexy, guys. I really like this Herbe Vive and the performance is okay. It's not the best, it's long lasting. And actually the projection is good. Yeah, the projection is good because there is someone in my work that wears H24 Eau de Parfum and every time I can smell him, it's like amazing. I really like So the performance is actually good and the scent is really good. And um, not a lot of people have this in their collection. So if you have it, you're going to stand out from the crowd. So now, last but not least, the last fragrance I have for you as a recommendation for spring to have in your collection will be Club de Nuit Intense Man or if you're balling out you can just cash out on the new Creed Aventus bottle but this is yeah Creed Aventus it's a clone of it um guys I don't recommend really that you buy a Creed Aventus because it's really expensive and this does the job for like a tenth of the price so yeah this is a very good fragrance Mm. It smells fruity, fresh, sweet, woody, ambery, a little bit. Just very masculine. So Club de Nuit Intense Man smells really amazing. I didn't encounter a single person that didn't like this scent. So it says a lot about this fragrance and it's also very versatile. So you can wear this any season, anywhere. Also, I think, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty confident that you can rock this in any situation and you will be good because this is very versatile and the performance on this thing, guys, it's a beast mode, beast. Like this is, well, Creed Aventus now it has been reformulated again and again for the past few years. The performance right now doesn't justify the price before it was beast mode but now it's eh, you know uh, you're on your prime the boxer was on his prime but now he's a little bit shaky you know getting old the, his punches doesn't they don't hit the same this is the same with creed aventus right now but this is a young version of creed aventus and it brings back the glory days of that fragrance the performance on this guy's longevity 10 hours projection strong as fuck okay nothing more needed to say about the performance beast mode very long lasting and very projecting which is really good and i like these type of fragrances but still all of these fragrances you can wear them during summer because everyone has their own taste and believes in fragrances so you do you these were my eight suggestions for spring I'm gonna do a separate video for summer fragrances because summer is like a month away now. Well, maybe two months away. It's approaching very soon and I want you guys to be smelling the best for any seasons with me, guys. You're gonna be delighted. Don't worry, guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.